Hi Aries, this is Jackie Tomlin. This is your general reading for the week of May 14, 2018. Thank you guys for stopping by. If you're enjoying these videos, please take the time to like, share, subscribe, and retweet them. I would greatly appreciate it. If you're seeking a psychic reading, you'll find a link to that below this video, and you may always contact me at JackieTomlin.com. It's going to be a busy week for Aries. Um, you're at a point that you feel like you're getting things under control, and some of you, I think, are waiting on good news but the good news, I'm not going to say it's not coming, but there is a delay attached to that. You guys are under new, uh, new beginnings for this coming week. Um, I'm going to be honest with you when I say that there are problems at work. There's some scattered energy there. Uh, so just kind of watch your back at work this week. And then there's some restless energy around you showing that need for freedom. So let's take a look. This is for Aries for your week of May 14th, 2018. Okay, starting with the Aries, we start with the Chariot, followed by the Two of Pentacles, Major Arcana of the High Priestess, Major Arcana of the Moon, Major Arcana of the Wheel of Fortune, Major Arcana of Strength. A lot going on for Aries this week. Starting with the Chariot, which is my favorite card in the deck. Um, this is your yes answer. This is you getting what you, what you want. This is everything good. The reason I like the Chariot so much is pretty much unexpected. Okay. Beside that, we have the Two of Pentacles. Not exactly where you want to be financially. You're still juggling a little bit financially, but you know that will slowly straighten itself out. But right now, be mindful of your finances. The High Priestess. High Priestess is showing me that no matter how hard you're trying to restore that balance, or like I said, you're waiting on that good news to come in, there's still a delay attached to that. So just be mindful of that as you go through the week. What we're looking at here is the moon, the wheel of fortune, and strength. And the moon, guys, I'm going to be honest with you, this deception around you. Okay, so that is a warning card for you guys this week. Next to that, the Wheel of Fortune, anxiety is off the chart. You're very anxious. Like I said, there's a lot of scattered energy for most of your areas. I really believe this is at work. And beside that, we have the Strength card. And that shows that you guys have got the strength to get through this. Just know that you're coming in an era that's not going to be easy. You're really going to have to work for it. Moving forward, we have the Tower. We have uh, the Hierophant. And we have the Two of Swords. The Tower, guys, this is never pretty. This is a disruption. This is discord. Uh, this is ending of a negative situation. And this is a confrontation. Next to that, you have the Hierophant. After this occurs, remember you have strength on your side. This is your ability to manifest something better. In other words, what I see with this disruption and record... Discord, I'm going to describe as brief and passing because immediately it puts you in a better mindset to do things differently. And then, of course, we end with the decision-making process. So, Aries, remember, we have the chariot. This is your yes answer getting what you want. But you also have delays, deception. We have a high anxiety with you guys. The strength to get forward. The disruption, the discord, the endings, the new beginnings, and then we have you manifesting. So a lot of anxiety is what it looks like appears to be leading up to this. Overall, it's going to be a good week. Remember, you are under new beginnings, so the fact this energy is surrounding you should not be a surprise. Thank you guys for watching. Please take the time to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.